。为什么叫蓝色矿机啊？我们不是一个大金嘛，我们想做这个行业的大金。What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. This is Charlie Ling. Guess where I'm now today? I'm in a very big industrial park here in Longhua District of Shenzhen, and I'm trying to explore a little bit more about the blue miner. The reason why I'm taking this trip today is because a kind of a famous or major distributor in the United States for ASIC miners, they were particularly interested in this blue miner. They got to know about this miner from a sales agent, probably from Alibaba, and they don't trust them a lot. They trust me probably more. There is certainly is a kind of a sense of gravity over here, right? All right. So in my conversation with the American miner distributor, we have a, a few different questions. First of all, we, we want to find out if the water cooling is exactly there inside the miner, and if it is really there, There, how does it really work? Well, we really want to open up the miner, see the guts of the miner, and also the one of the biggest reason this uh, ASIC miner distributor is super interested in this blue miner is because the deck size of this miner is 6 GB. It seems the deck size of the A9 ant miner is also 6 GB. So if this blue miner has a deck size of 6 GB, it really means this miner can prolong for a much longer time than some of the other miners like、uh, jazz miners. Okay, the third question that we have today is that.、Uh, Is it capable of mining Ethereum Classic? Even with the Ant Miner E9, we, we still don't have a firmware for it yet, and we don't know how it will perform to mine Ethereum Classic. All right. So with these questions, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna shake hands with the manufacturer to find out more. Hopefully, he's gonna give me all these answers. See you soon. All right. So here we are at the Blue Miner factory. This is actually not a real factory. It is more like a warehouse for the blue miners because the actual manufacturer or the actual OEM factory for this miner is the same factory used by Beitmei Watts miners. So it's like they are using the similar or the same level of、uh, industrial standard to produce this miner. So what's special about this blue miner? According to the manufacturer, the, the biggest thing to boast about it, it is the first Ethereum miner or Ethash miner that has water cooling features. Bitmain wants to do it, Watts miner wants to do it, and many people want to do the water cooling for the Ethereum miners, but nobody ever did it. I tried to ask the manufacturer to open up the box for me for us to take a look at inside the miner to see how the water cooling works looks like. I would say this mine is kind of like open proof. Even if you have a screwdriver, you cannot open the box. You can unscrew these buttons, but you cannot open up the miner because he told me the power supply and the housing of the miner is together. So I asked them later when they are able to open up the miner, I will come back to this place and I will show you what it looks like inside. But already, even from just the outside, we can see the heat sink that is particularly designed for water cooling. 现在可能拆不掉，这技术的原因。啊，这是一颗芯片，就一颗板，这是工程，这是工程机，就是说是在做这个六百兆之前的三百兆的，呃，样样机。但是后面呢，我们改良没有水水冷的时候就没有这块散热器了。啊，它的温度很低的。啊，这个芯片是一颗芯片，就是三百兆的算力。它这个是风冷的模式，所以说它这个水冷模式。你看它这块有水冷管，啊，那这个就是水冷的水水冷管。All right, I think I will go to ask the manufacturer why they designed this miner as open proof.、Uh, what if the miner has issues? What do we do about it? What if it's a simple issue but we cannot open up the box? I'm gonna ask him. It has on top and below is a cooling part. It can be cut, but it needs to be cut. It's a specialized part for cooling. We did this because we don't want the customer to cut it and cut it. Cut it is because you are afraid it will be cut. Yes, because now the cooling level is very high. It's 600 degrees. You think? 现在相当于是，呃，三零九零四张显卡，还有我们那个显卡机对对对对比的，我们三三零九零四百兆。算力，这个六百兆的算力这么少，嗯，就是你觉得它基本上也不会有什么售后的问题？没有，芯片机跟显卡的不一样。可是我们也有出现过蚂蚁矿机有问题的，也有
呃，新电机的是概率事件啊，当然这种概率事件也不需要客户去猜的，对吧？我们正常来讲，我们这边会备个三百台左右，随时处理国内的客户的售后问题。质保期是多久？一年。出厂日期开始还是？对，我跟客户交付的时间。啊，就是超过质保的期的时间呢？嗯。那比如说我们会沟通，他们矿场肯定有驻场的维修嘛，对吧？我们会给他们驻场的维修，给他们沟通。如果是芯片的问题，那就我们需要我们来处理了。四百二十五瓦。刚刚开启吗？对，刚刚启动。嗯。到四百二十瓦的时候，它就全部工作了。它的算力，正常的机器要半小时，二十分钟左右。啊，我们五分钟，然后这个算力就全部起来了。The manufacturer told me that it only takes up to five minutes for this money to get fully operational. So it's going to be approximately 420. So I'm going to wait for here another four minutes maybe. So the manufacturer told me the actual power required for this Blue Miner Mini is only 200. But because it has is equipped with a CPU. A cooling uh, feature, so it's gonna be a uh, 50 uh, watts more. Anyway, this uh, Blue Miner Mini is no longer available because this is only engineering sample. Right now, they have moved completely to this uh, Blue Miner Pro, which is 600 megahertz, and at the same time with water cooling. Okay, so right now it's actually within. Uh, I think it's only past the two minutes, but it's. The power has reached the two four hundred thirty-six watts. So it means the miner right now is fully operational. So in conservative terms, the manufacturer told me it takes within five minutes the miner can be fully up and running. But obviously today it only takes us three minutes, I would say. 它这个算力我们可以在呃在楼下才能看得到，是吧？对，楼下远程的后台可以看得到。到时候我们可以指定看这一台的吗？呃，可以。So it may be a little bit of pity that we didn't get to open up the Blue Miner Pro to see how the water cooling works. According to the American ASIC distributor that got in touch with me, he said, at first sight, this miner looks really unique and it looks really optimized. Just from its look, we can see it's a really good design. Okay, I just asked the manufacturer to see if he can switch to Ethereum Classic mining uh, very quickly and very easily because that seems to be one of the top concerns of the American ASIC mining distributor that reached out to me. All right, let's take a look. This is the average hash power. This is the This is the average hash power within 24 hours because this miner has just started to work. Okay, so we can just uh, use one click, one switch button. To switch it to Ethereum Classic. No, we can try it. Yeah, one minute after this, we need to turn on the heat. Yeah. No, we can try it. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we have the Ethereum Classic hash power. Should we do it in 实时算力有我们不做参考，我们参考二十四小时平均算力，因为实时算力会超过六百多，然后也许会低于五百多。也就是说，它二十四小时平均算力它不会低于呃。那它这个链接能不能到时候给我，然后到时候我们观察链接
and a silent mining would be more um, popular in the global market, especially European and American market. I personally would be more interested to pitch for the whole miners. If anybody is looking to mine Ethereum Classic after the Ethereum merge, the blue miner might be a good option or a good alternative outside ant miners, Apollo miners, and jazz miners. Thank you so much, Mr. John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Alright, so if you watched my previous videos about uh, minor reviews or minor testing, you probably couldn't remember I always said the testing of the miner is really successful. But today I'm gonna just say the visit to this manufacturer is really successful because it is probably not fully responsible to say this miner is you know 100 percent perfect, right? So I'm gonna say the visit is very successful because I got to know a lot more. And I'm also going to include the pooling information of the Ethereum and Ethereum Classic mining of the blue miner in the video description. Hope the information will be helpful to you okay maybe this is pretty much it for today's video about the blue miner next time when i come back to this place i want to open up the blue miner to see how the cooling works like how the hash board the power supply motherboard uh, touch against each other which i think is going to be a very informative and interesting video for you i will keep it posted